Welcome Aquarius. Thank you for dropping by, for liking, sharing and subscribing. If this reading does resonate with you, it won't resonate with all of you. But if it does, please feel free to contact me for a private reading. If that's what you're after, my email is listed below this video. Otherwise, we'll get straight into it, Aquarius. Okay, the chariot. Seven of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. King of Wands. Ace of Cups. Okay, so the first from the top left, we have the chariot. And the chariot is all about victory, success, public image, fame, fortune, destiny, drive, motivation, ambition, aspiration. So I feel as though you're being well known for your talents here with the chariot. If this is regarding a work situation, I feel as though you'll come out on top. There's victory surrounding you here and people will notice you for your talents. Look, it's in the stars as you can see here. You're made for this recognition. This is where you really shine. You're in your element and you know it. You know what you have Aquarius. You know what you're capable of doing and you know how much it can inspire and affect and just motivate people to do similar to what you're doing with the chariot. This does remind me of the sign Cancer. So maybe you might be dealing with someone at, in a workplace situation, a superior of some sort that is under a Cancer sign. If not, this may be a Cancer uh, significant other whether a boyfriend girlfriend husband wife de facto relationship significant other etc that's coming through here and there's this beautiful duality about this person but i feel as though you compliment them very well or they compliment you very well or your lifestyle just in general also i feel like there's a couple of facets regarding this person or this relationship there's light and dark but again it's yin and yang it's mas masculine and feminine so this is required for an everlasting successful relationship and i'm that's exactly what i'm seeing here with the chariot card if you're in a relationship i feel like it's just going really smoothly it's successful you know you're driving it it's moving along it's successful. Uh, people are looking at you as a couple and just thinking, wow, how beautiful you look together. If this is for the single ones, then I feel as though you have a lot of people that are looking to you, admiring you for your talents. This could be at work. Maybe you're in the public eye. Maybe you're on social media. Someone's admiring you on some sort of level, whether it's through the internet, through social media, at your workplace. But you are inspiring a lot of people and you are driving a lot of people. So I'm not sure if you have a lot of people reporting to you at your workplace or a lot of people in your group dynamic, your friend setting, your friend dynamic setting, but they're, they're looking to you and they're seeking your advice and your guidance and they're um, emulating what you're doing in your life. So just know you'll be very influential this month. Very much so. Now, moving on, we have the Seven of Pentacles just over here. And the Seven of Pentacles is all about finances and looking back at your physical gains, your money, your assets, your funds. Maybe you're asking for money. But I feel as though it's more to do with savings. Now, you could be saving um, and you could be receiving a lot of money, incentive, rewards from something that you might do at work where you will turn out to be victorious. You could be saving to take a trip here with the Four of Swords. I feel as though you could be saving to rush into something here with the Knight of Wands. So there's fiery energy. There's a reason why you're working so hard and you're so deliberate and focused on your goals. And this is a great energy. If you're looking to start anything new with the Ace of Cups here, this is the perfect time to do this. If you're looking to implement something new, put out an idea you hadn't previously, this would be the month to do it because it will get picked up. You've got a lot of pentacles and victory around you and a brand new opportunity here for the hand of with the hand of God. So you're getting the green light to do this. Also with the seven of pentacles, there's I feel like there's a lot of things accumulating for you, whether it's assets, money, deeds, things, businesses, phone numbers, you're, you're looking at something here with the seven of pentacles that you feel you have a lot of. Now, if you are single, I feel as though you may get a lot of admirers. You may get a lot of proposals for dates, dinners, etc., getting to know you. If this is in a work situation, I feel as though you're looking at your ideas. You're sorting out options here with the Seven of Pentacles. Maybe you've got options in work. Maybe you've got people that are submitting work to you and you're filtering through thinking which one. But I feel as though regardless of what job you're in, there's opportunities that are coming to you that will be very fruitful. So it's important that you assess them closely and not rush into them too much here with the Knight of Wands. Don't get too carried away. Make sure you're very methodical in what you choose because they will bring you grand opportunity and recognition. 
Now moving on, we have the Four of Swords and the Four of Swords is all about rest, recuperation. It could be about death. There's a tomb effigy on this card. Maybe you're visiting someone that's passed on. Maybe you're getting back in touch with your Catholic roots. Maybe you're visiting churches or going to church more. Maybe you're meditating. Maybe you're going to a retreat of some kind. And if you haven't, maybe this would be a time to do so. Maybe you're planning a trip around this time. I feel like rest and recuperation is needed because you appear to have a busy, but you're very successful this month. But I feel as though you might need somewhere in the middle of the month to sort of just lay back and relax. Take it all in because swords are all about our thought and communication. Maybe a communication matter needs to be put to rest. Maybe something that's been bugging you, you finally have the last say or you finally express yourself. This would be the month to do that. Maybe it's just a time where you need to regather your thoughts. Maybe there's been an exchange of words with a fire sign or the cancer or an earth sign that's been too much for you. And maybe it's time to back away and withdraw and retreat. And if you think that will serve you, then I honestly think that would be a very good idea. Now, moving on, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and this is abundance, joy, blissfulness. This is you being very fruitful. You have a lot of money here, ideas. There could be some sort of unexpected funds coming to you. You could be victorious in gaining some sort of funds. Maybe you're applying for a new job and you'll be very happy with the remuneration, but this is you being happy with your funds here, and this is you assessing your savings. Maybe you're a couple that's looking to buy a home, looking to invest into a charity, looking to start a public business, being in the public eye. And I feel as though you will have enough. So there's not, I'm not sensing there's a depletion of money. I'm sensing that there's, you know, and a wonderful accruement of money, deeds, houses, products, etc. There's also, I feel like fertility is coming through. So I'm not sure if you've been trying to gain pregnant, but I'm, I'm sensing there could be some sort of uh, pregnancy, some sort of fated event even. Something to do within your physical realm, though. So a lot of physical changes. You'll be very grateful, is what I'm picking up with. All the physical changes that are happening. The rewards that might be going on at your workplace. I feel as though if you're with someone, you may be going on a lot more dates. Indulging in a lot more things that make you happy. Whether it's nice dinners or doing more activities together. Hiking, going to museums here. Resting, going on a meditation retreat together meeting famous people you know whatever it is that you're doing and whatever it is that makes you bring you closer to this person and just enjoy your time with them i feel as though you may be uh someone might be indulging in you or you in them so that's nice that's you know unexpected gifts just being lavishly treated spoiled is what i'm picking up also so that's really good to see now, moving on, we have the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands is someone that tends to rush into someone. There's a fiery energy about the Knight of Wands here. Here he is, and he's impatient. He can't wait to achieve what he's waiting to achieve. He's driven. He's maybe a little bit temperamental at times. He's waiting to explore. I feel as though you might be exploring this month, and he's itching to do it. There's, there's some sort of anxiousness around you here, Aquarius. Maybe it's towards these goals and you're waiting for this fame, this recognition, this final breakthrough. And I feel as though it's coming because that burning energy, that motivation, that fuel, whatever it is that's serving you, you're just highly ambitious, Aquarius, this month. Most definitely, your you know, ambition is driving you, driving you forward. That's why it's a reminder here with the Four of Swords, you need to relax and retreat where needed because you'll just be so busy. But I said it's time to be more methodical because as much as you want to rush into things and you might hear about things and get very excited, it, it might happen very quickly. It could be with money, it could be with physical gains, it could be with a competition or whatever it is that you've been working on, your goals maybe with the Knight of Wands. Maybe this is a fire sign, if this is in relation to love, maybe this is a fire sign that's rushing into things way too quickly for you, Aquarius. And maybe you need to be more methodical and slow down, assess your options. You might have many. Maybe it's time to withdraw and retreat, spend some more solitude time with this person, get to know them better see what they're all about. You do have pyramids here, so there could be some sort of connection to the Middle East. Mythology. Exploring new lands. I mean, you've got lots of buildings here, yet you've got desert here and you've got water here, so you could be traveling. There could be a lot of different places that are coming into play for you. Now, moving on, you've got the Ace of Cups, and this is beautiful. A hand of God here. 
with what looks like the Holy Grail, the Eucharist, and a beautiful dove. There's purity in these cards. This is a bringer of a new emotion, a start of something new, something that will blossom and will bring you happiness, emotional fulfillment. Again, there's some sort of link or connection here with um, being religious, righteousness, spirituality. Maybe that's the, this is the time for you to resort to those things and seek guidance. But hand of God, this is faded, whatever is happening around you. This opportunity is being given to you. It's being placed in your path for a reason. This person, this victory at work, this victory with winning a person, these options that are being presented to you. As I said, you're being spoiled. There's a lot of emotional happiness around you. Blissfulness. Being content, being grateful. Purity here with the dove. Liberation, being free. Being free from emotional burden. Maybe this is what the Four of Swords will bring you. This retreat time, you know, this time of withdrawal. Maybe you need to have this. Otherwise, how will you be successful in your ambitions? Because you've got big ones. I can see that. And you've got the money to do it. You've got the physical aspects down pat. Don't rush into it. Be methodical. Meditate on your decisions here. For they will change things for you in a really big way here for the Ace of Cups. And offer you this brand new beginning. But we'll see what else the Priestess cards have to say in relation to this spread. You have Prosperity. This is beautiful. Priestess of Prosperity here. So it's funny that I mentioned pregnancy before because you do have a pomegranate here. And pomegranates represent just that, you know, preg pregnancy, fruitfulness. So I feel as though prosperity is here, you're having a good time, you're enjoying yourself, you're being spoiled, a lot of dinner dates, a lot of good times, dancing, just don't overwhelm yourself because he, she is upside down, oblivious to what's going on here. Don't get too indulgent because sometimes that can result in one night stands, sleeping with someone, becoming pregnant. That's just a forewarning to anyone that does partake in those sorts of things. I mean, it happens. So just be, be mindful of those things. But prosperity is around the corner. You've got your ambition in check. Things are happening for you in a really big way and they will bring you prosperity, good times, riches, good fortune, fated events. So just be mindful here. Prosperity is coming. Prosperity and money. I see you looking at your finances and you're very pleased with what you see. You've got the finances you need to invest if you need to. Invest in a trip, in a home, capital, in a business idea. We'll see what else is popping up for you. Opulence, again, wow, okay. So you've got opulence, prosperity, the chariot, looking at your money, a lot of money, good times, opulent lifestyle, luxury lifestyle. Opulence, people are offering you things, people are spoiling you, you're getting, you know, gifts, Unsu you know, completely unsuspected. People are surprising you in many ways, surprising you with gifts. You know, you might be traveling to very opulent places. You might be in very opulent places. Your job could take you to very opulent places, most definitely. So make sure you look your best. You know, if you're single, people are noticing you. You're attracting a lot of people. You're a star in their eyes. You'll attract a lot of people. They'll think you're very successful. You're very attractive. They'll start considering you as a prospective partner, thinking about marriage and pregnancy with you and having children, etc., Wow, okay, other than that, it's in, in, in a work, uh, in the work facet, it just, it, you know, you're successful, you're playing with the big boys here with the opulence and prosperity card. But just be careful not to overindulge, reminder, be methodical because you're upside down in these cards. Sometimes everything can change very quickly and we become upside down. So make sure not to overindulge in these opulences. And not to get too ahead of yourself because you're upside down. Things can shift very quickly for you, Aquarius. So be methodical, get a, get a hold of yourself and don't overindulge. Now, having said that, I hope this re uh, reading has resonated with some of you out there and you've taken the messages on board. Um, it's a pleasure to do this reading for you.